and welcome back to episode 10 of Expedition Minecraft. I have not done one of these videos in a while. And as you can see, I've been playing on the world a little bit. I've got a lot of wood now. <laughs> L O L. <laughs> um, I've made a few changes. Um, I'm going to show them now. As you can see, there's something there that you will not know what that is. Um, first change I got bored of cobblestone in my main house, so we've gone all a bit wooden. Um, outside, if I go out here, um, it's all nice stone bricks. I've moved the wheat farm to down here and got rid of the animal farm because I'm bored of having an animal farm. They just make noise and I have a ton of pork chops now. Uh, down here I've changed this all to stone bricks. As you can see, pork chops galore. Um, let me just chuck away some of this rubbish. Uh, Keep three stacks of wood and the stairs. Um, go through to here. I have been. I'm running low on this stuff. I'm. I've been waiting to use this. I've been using iron ones. I've been waiting because I want to enchant those two things. Um, and here you can now see that there's a lever, which if you flick that opens up into the potions room instead of just walking through the little thing over there. Um, I've got five potion stands. This now works where it didn't before. They're enemies come through and uh, spawn in there. This is full of awkward potions now. Uh, this is my little new layout of these. Um, top row is poison, set, next row is strength, third is swiftness, then fire, then two other things. And if you go down in columns, this column of three is double strength, this column of three is extended length, and this column of three is gonna be just normal. I haven't got, I've only got normal strength potions at the moment. Uh, this is where water bottles are going to go. I shouldn't need too many water bottles, seeing as I've got enough awkward potions. And awkward potions and all of those as well. Um, that's the next thing, is slime balls. Obviously, there's only one way to get slime balls, which is slimes. And there's only one way to get slime. Slimes, which is either finding them in caves, rather unnaturally, because they're extremely rare, or creating a slime farm. Um, I made a little path to the nether thing. I ran out of stone bricks so I need to do this at some point and then there's little windows out there. So if we head down here a little bit further at this glass stop off area is my slime farm and I found a ton of diamonds whilst mining this out and I've left them there for now. So this is the slime farm. It does work trust me. I'm wondering why Oh, that's a bit of a risky hole. That's what the hole up top was for. If you, as you come in here, let me just show you again. As you come in here, it's quite foggy. And then rather abruptly, it the fog vanishes. Um, if you, It's because we're so near bedrock that if, if you dig a hole from, well, the earth all the way down so that there's, you can see the sky from the hole, the fog uh, decreases so once you get past this first row of torches then the fog is basically completely gone um, I'm wondering why there's no slimes uh, it's been working rather efficiently recent ah I know why yep I'm still on peaceful when I'm meant to be on hard I was on peaceful for the dragon prison custom map tutorials um, so now, now that I'm hard, they should spawn more frequently. So I'm going to dig these diamonds up because I've been waiting to do that because I wanted to show you guys that I've got, well, that I've found diamonds. Seven. Seven. Was that seven? Let me just fill this in with wood. It doesn't really matter what I fill in with. Seven diamonds in one thing. Branch, whatever you want to call it. There's one on that doorway as well as you come in. Let's get that one. There might be me. Please be one behind it. Nope. <laughs> oh well. More wood. There we go. And then at least three here. Four. Oh no! Dead pickaxe. Okay. Um, I've got ten. I'll go back up top and get another pick. Um, two more things. In quite important. Um, I'm gonna do the videos a bit more Tabasca styled. Not acting all stupid and that. 
Um, I'm going to aim for 10 minutes, and then if it goes over because I'm trying to finish something off, then so be it. But it was so much hassle, timing exactly 15 minutes and having to cut off the videos and that. As you can see in the last one, I said I'm going to end the video here, and before I'd even finished saying the word here, I had to cut, because otherwise it wouldn't have had time to... Uh, we would have gone over the YouTube limit, so I'm going to aim for 10 minutes, and then if it goes a little over, that's fine. Um, I need another pick now. I could just make a, use this diamond pick, because I have enough. I don't think I'm going to do that, actually. How many diamonds do I have? 15, and at least two more down there. I've got a lot of iron stuff now, from all the mining I've done. Okay, um, <laughs> there's the next change, is this which is my tower slash outpost type of thing. Um, this, I'm going to have four directions, and obviously I've n no one ever plans to have their starting base as their main base. In fact, I've stayed here a little bit too long <laughs> for my liking because I set it up just in the first day as a hole in the wall and then expected to move on and make a proper house, but I kind of stayed here and... I mean, it's all right, I don't mind staying here, it's quite nice, I've done it up quite nicely. But whenever I do get bored, then I can go off in that direction first, I think I'm going to do. And then if I get bored there, I'll come back here and go in another direction. Or So I have lots of options. Um, next new thing, or last new thing really, is I've got one mod on, as you may have seen when I sprint. Oh, it's a bit laggy. You can see above my food the little like electric bolts. Um, I've got the smart moving mod on, which means, oops, wrong button. I keep doing that whenever I try and press F5. Smart moving basically means that you get, you can sprint for a certain amount of time and that, and it's, there's little animations for when you're doing ladders and stuff like that. And uh, what else is different? Yep, you can do that whilst you're running, instead of having to stop and go around an obstacle. You can sprint and double tap a direction. Oh, let me try that again. That didn't work. Yep, and you can hop to the side. Um, you can crawl through one block areas. If you run and do that, you... Oh, maybe not. If you run and do that. Nope. I'm doing something wrong there. Um, oh, I'm not, I know what I'm doing wrong. You're meant to press... Uh, F, which is grab, you meant to press that before you press shift, that's how you do crawling, is F and shift, oh, there we are, that's how you do that, but if you're sprinting and press F shift, you slide, <laughs> nice football goal celebration, you can also, if you jump and press F, you can climb up higher ledges, it takes some time, but you can climb up trees and stuff, I kind of want to ask you guys if this mod might ruin this, like, uh, let's play. I don't think it will. It's just so it makes it easier for me to get around. And there's some cool animations when you're swimming. And swimming around and that. Um, also, it sometimes helps because, say, I fall down this hole and I press F, I can grab on. If I press F at the right time. Obviously then I did it because I knew that I was going to fall. But uh, sometimes it might help me survive if I fall off something. Um, there's one more animation which is very cool, or at least I, I like it, which is the diving animation, which if you run forward, press F and spa hold F and hold space at the same time. Once you let go of space, you'll go into a dive. If I do this on land, it'll just go and do that. Whereas if I go into water, oh, let me get a sprint. And it goes into a swim. Obviously you can, that wasn't a very big jump there, it landed in one block or whatever. And then so like if I get stuck behind trees and stuff, I can jump over stuff as well, which is quite useful in this mod. Um, I'll turn F5 off now. Oh, I keep forgetting you have to press it twice. Um, so, yep. 
as I'm nearing the 10 minute mark, I'll mine these last two diamonds and then that will be, or last two or three or whatever, how many is under here? Two. I'll mine those. I'll mine for lava as well, because I know there's lava around here. You could see it dripping from above a minute ago. Um, so that's this episode, episode 10 I think this is. Ah, there's the slimes we were looking for. These are not the slimes you're looking for. Okay. Get those. And then... Biggie over here. Quite dangerous really, aren't they? And then you don't need to hit these little ones with anything in particular, just smack them around. You level up pretty fast when you're killing slimes, because there's so many of them. Um, so yeah, I think that'll do for this episode. Uh, woo. Um, I'll do a couple more episodes at this time with this mod on. And then people comment afterwards if you think you want me to turn it off because it might ruin the game or tell me to keep it on because it's cool or whatever. Uh, I'll get back up top here and then put my items away and then that should be that. And then I'll see you next episode. Mm, I need some sort of more efficient way of levelling up. The slime farm's doing alright. The That room, the dark room I've got behind my potions room, it doesn't really... There's not... Oh, what have I done here? Oh, I looked into a thingy. There's not many spawns in there really, so that kind of annoys me that I spent that time and mined that obsidian to make sure that skele uh, skeletons... Creepers can't blow it up and that, and then it doesn't even work properly. But um, I think we'll work more on the tower next episode as well. So I hope you've enjoyed episode 10, guys.